Okay, day two. So day two, with your bone scissors, what do you notice about the blades? They're gonna cut out the paint. What do you notice about the blades? They're bigger than the pig. One's curved, one's pointed. One's curved, one's pointed. Best side to use today is the curved side because you are going to potentially poke the heart if you use this side. So use the curved side, okay? So you're going to continue to cut upwards, but you're going to cut through a muscle. You see that tiny little hole I just made? Okay, this part that separates the liver from the chest cavity, this up here, that's the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a muscle. When that moves down, you breathe air in. When that moves up, you push air out, okay? You are going to cut through some bone today, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. When I put my scissors in, you're going to lift the tip, and you'll notice that when I cut, my scissors come up just a little bit. That's a good sign that you are lifting your scissors as you cut. Your goal is to get up here. This guy's got a little bump underneath his chin. That's what you're aiming for, okay? Once you get up like above the shoulders, it's gonna start to get easier again because this is muscle and skin. This part down here, you cut through the breastbone, so that's going to be a little bit more tough, okay? When I open this guy, is he going to open real easy? No. Not today. So we have to make sure that we clean this up a little bit so you can get that chest cavity nice and open. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the diaphragm away from the rib cage, Man, I'll be feeling okay? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. He's dead already. Relax. Okay. So cut the diaphragm away from the ribs. Okay. Does he open easy? No. Nope. So we have to go in there with your probe. Today your probe is your best friend because you're going to go in here and you're going to wiggle. There's a lot of connective tissue that holds the sac around the heart, which is called the pericardium to that breastbone. So you go in here and wiggle and it'll come off. What if it was okay? still bleeding? It's not, he's dead. Okay, so you're gonna open him up. Some of the ribs at this point might crack a little bit. You might have a conversation with your lab partner so that you don't hear that so much. It bothers some people. I'm pretty sure that you'll live with it. What are these two Broken things ribs. on either side? Lungs. 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 What's this in the middle? Heart. Tell you right now that's not an answer on the test because you're smarter than that. So, pericardium. See this film that's over the heart? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pericardium. It helps to lubricate the heart. It's kind of a sack of water so that muscle doesn't get tired. Like, what happens when you work out and work out and work out? You get sore, right? Does your heart have that option? Mm -hmm. No. No because your heart has to keep pumping. It can't get sore and quit, right? So the pericardium helps to lubricate that muscle. You're gonna push that to the side. Sometimes you might have to cut it a little bit, okay? One other thing that your pig book is gonna ask about is the white-ish massive tissue above the heart. This is called the thymus. That produces some hormones. So what system is that gonna belong to? The E1. the E1. What's the Endocrine. E1? Endocrine. Endocrine. Okay. So I'm going to move that pericardium to the side and the heart's going to look a little bit different. What do you notice about the top of the heart? It's lopsided. It is kind of lopsided. It sits crooked in your chest. Yours does too. But it's darker up on the top and it's a little bit spongier. It's a little more squishy. Down here is harder. The top two chambers, what are those called? The, uh, atria. the atria. The bottom two chambers, what are those called? Ventricle. Ventricles. So when you start labeling the heart that's in your pig packet, it's the same as yours. So you can use your hot human body notes to label the parts of the heart. The last thing that you're going to do is get up into the throat, and that's where your probe is really useful. <laughs> Because there's a lot of different things up in your throat, lots of muscles, um, 
this part, hard to see. Okay, this is thyroid gland, so thyroid in the throat, thymus by the heart. But what you're looking to do is uncover this big lump right here. Okay, and you don't want to cut it, so you just kind of get up in here and wiggle everything around. The esophagus. Okay, we're not looking for esophagus. Esophagus is way back here. I actually might be able to get to it in this pig. Let's see. Okay. But what? <coughs> trachea. So this tube that looks like a straw, that's trachea. And you can tell because it's held open. Why would you want your trachea held open? Because that's where the air goes. Because that's where the air goes. If it collapses, you can't breathe. This lump up here, and you'll do a better job of cleaning it off, this is your voice box. And the better word for voice box is your larynx. Okay. So larynx is the ultimate goal. You want to be able to see that voice box, that larynx, the trachea, the different parts of the heart, and your lungs. This is the goal for today.